Welcome back to the shop. So we're gonna do something a little different here today. We're gonna to take a look at this uh, late 50s Craftsman mower. See if we can't get her to fire up. Hasn't run in the least uh, 20 years that I know of, so we'll see what we can do. So a quick bit of history on this. Uh, it is an 18 inch Craftsman mower. It's all aluminum deck, uh, 3 16 aluminum, which uh, you won't find that these days. That's the reason this thing's lasted uh, 60 plus years. It's a two stroke engine, so mixed fuel. And uh, yeah, I bet you that's probably a two horse or a little less than two horse motor. But uh, Family's owned this since new. My grandfather would have bought this. Uh, they figure around 57, 58. And uh, as long as I can remember, it's been tucked in the back of a shed somewhere and pulled out every once in a while just to see if it would still fire up. There's uh, no starter recoil on this. You gotta wander yourself. It is pretty cool to see uh, the old school craftsmanship in this stuff. Uh, cast lettering in there. These days would be a thin plastic sticker that would peel off within a couple of weeks. And on these ones, if you want to adjust your height, you actually have to unbolt the wheel and make your adjustments. Not as convenient as the new ones, but pretty cool. As you can see, they're uh, solid uh, 3 16 aluminum deck. It does have a little crack in it there from a rock. I'm surprised it doesn't have more, considering the amount of mowing this thing's done over the years. So I was going to see if she'll crank over here, but uh, stuck the pull cord on there, gave it a pull, and uh, she's tight. We got it moving a little bit. I think we'll pull the plug, throw some marble mystery oil in there, let it sit for a little bit, and uh, see if that frees things up. Doesn't look too bad. Better use that. So we got it propped up in a jack stand there. And uh, just gonna feed her a little bit of the good stuff. Already that feeds uh, her right up. So we got her at the uh, bottom of the stroke there. I just fed a bit more in. We'll let that sit for a couple hours. We'll come back. All right, so it ended up being more than a couple hours. I got busy and uh, just ended up sitting for a couple days with that Marvel Mystery Oil sitting in there. And she spins real nice now. So I'm gonna blow out what's left in there, fire the plug back in, and we're just gonna go ahead and throw some fuel in and see what she does. Like I said, this plug doesn't look too bad, so we'll give it a go. I did uh, crank it over there and it was getting decent spark, so Maybe we'll see what happens. It's got good compression anyways. All right, so I was going to go throw some fuel in there and took a peek inside the tank. I don't know if you can see it, but... And it looks like the Sahara Desert down in there. So I'm going to uh, just grab the shop back, suck out as much of the sediment as I can, and I'll throw some fuel in there. Now we're just using our uh, fancy extension, the same one we used on the uh, F100 axle there. Oh, 
looks a little better, but there is quite a bit of rust in this tank. So I think uh, I'll probably pull that off this winter and treat the inside of that, keep it from rotting right out. So let's give her a little bit of the old heavy mix. Pretty much only keep this around for my uh, old Pioneer chainsaw, which is about the same vintage, a little bit newer than this mower, maybe. But uh, they like a lot of oil. The new stuff don't like it so much. I've tried. All right, so we got a little in there. Hopefully it doesn't come leaking out all over the place. Choke. This cord's a little heavy. Uh, this is some rope my father put on there. Let's see, we might give her a little blast of ether. ought to do her. Now I can hear a bunch of you out there screaming saying uh, you don't use ether on a two-stroke and uh, you're right you typically don't uh, on account of this doesn't have any kind of lubricant in it but remember we fed this cylinder full of uh, marble mystery oil so I got that residue in there and uh, a couple quick blasts won't hurt anything don't go feeding it a full blast though, trying to get it run off it or you'll have problems. All right, I swapped out the uh, starter cord there. That other one was too heavy. Couldn't get enough cranks on her, so give this one a whirl. Hey. Almost. Like I said, I think the last thing this thing ran was probably uh, a good 20 years ago. I remember it being dragged out every once in a while. My grandfather was bored just to see if it would still run. To. Sure makes you appreciate a automatic recoil. actually thinking it's really a couple years since I ran the chainsaw so it's got a stabilizer in it but still all right one more go I think we're gonna call it well I think that's all we're gonna get out of her Considering the amount of crud that was in the tank there, 
I'm willing to bet that the uh, float bowl and needle and seat are probably all clogged up. So I think at some point I'll probably uh, pop the carb off there and uh, clean it out, stick it back together and see if we can't get her to run uh, more than a few seconds, but pretty cool. And uh, I looked online, there's really not a lot about these on there. So if any of you uh, have any info on these or have a link to uh, some info, I'd love to see it, but pretty cool old mower. And uh, like I said, been in the family for well over 60 years now, probably uh, pushing 65 years at least. So, so keep an eye out. Uh, I'll probably do a video on this one rainy day when I get bored. We'll yank her apart, clean her out. We'll have her ready for next spring. Probably have to sharpen the blade too. Uh, kind of looks like it hasn't been done in about 30 years at least. All right, so that's it for today. Hopefully uh, some of you guys found this interesting. And uh, be sure to give us a like. I'll be uh, posting up a video. I got the exhaust built for the 68 F100 there. So if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. So you don't miss that. I've just been uh, crazy busy and was away for a couple days here. So just haven't had time to shoot a video. So trying to get that done today and uh, get that posted up in the next few days. So as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.